Today we will be knowing about why plane stress given for thin plates and plane strain conditions given for thick plates. So let me start with a small example. So in the present two figures, the first figure represent it's under plane stress condition and the next figure represent it's under plane strain condition. So before describing plane stress and the plane strain, so let me know, so why this object has considered as a thin plate and this as considered as thick plate. If you observe the dimensions of an object, the length and the height was a comparable to the one to the next. But if you observe the thickness, it's not a comparable either with length of an object or with height of an object, which means that the thickness becomes negligible while comparing with length as well as height of the object. So we are going to consider this as a thin plate. Similarly, the length, height and the thickness of this particular object was a comparable to the one to the next. So we are going to make this as a thick plate. So now the plane stress and the plane strain. So we are going to describe with the physical behavior of the object. So let me start from the thin plate. So if you observe the figure, the load has been acting on the thin plate. So whenever the load acts, whether it may be a thin plate or it may be a thick plate, so it gets deformed because of poison effect. Now let me know what you mean by poison effect. So poison effect is a phenomenon in which a material tends to expand in directions perpendicular to the direction of a load. We are on the thin plate, so we don't have much more material over the jet axis. So the deformation which generate over the jet axis will be neglected. It was in the case which makes the stress over the jet axis to be considered approximately as zero. So let us consider one more figure to make in detail. So where this was in a plane, so we have a stresses over the x and over the y and even we have a shear stress over the x and the y. But we don't have any more stress over the jet axis because the material that what we have over the jet was very less. So as the material is less, we can't generate much more deformations. So as we are going to neglect the deformations, then the stress which generate over the jet axis will be considered approximately as zero. Let me start discussing about thick plate. So as it has a thickness, it has a tendency to resist the deformations, which means that when the load start acting on the object, so the internal resistance of an object, it has a capable to resist the deformations, which states that, so whatever the deformations that we have over the thickness, it will be considered as zero because the stress which acts over the entire object will be considered as approximately constant. There's a reason we treat this as a plane strain because the deformations along the thickness will, will be considered as a zero. There's a reason why we consider the thin plate as the plane stress condition and the thick plate as the plane strain condition. Thank you. Thank you.